For more on this, we're being joined by Professor Roger Liu, the CEO at Research Institute for Democracy, Society and Emerging Tech, joining us live from Taipei. Thank you for being with us. Now, at stake here is really the future of Taiwan's democracy. Can this be considered the most crucial election for the 23 million people of Taiwan yet? Thank you, Alison, for having me. Um, well, I think this election is as crucial as the previous ones that we had before, because uh, every time, especially for the past few decades, whenever Taiwan is trying to have its um, diplomatic choices of its um, public um, servants or uh, politicians, China will, or the CCP, have been trying hard to influence with that. So this time, I think uh, we have no exception. But uh, what faces us now is that we are actually has a critical juncture, especially now we are seeing the rise of uh, what is called Cold War 2.0, uh, the rival, the rivalry and the competition, uh, the growing competition between especially the US and China nowadays. And we are facing a rising China trying to expand its um, authoritarian influence outside of the Eurasian continent. So in this uh, critical juncture, actually, Taiwan's election becomes more important because that's actually a testimony of uh, a people's, especially Taiwanese people's uh, decision to counter the um, influence of China. Absolutely. Now, Professor, the results uh, show the ruling DPP's lie ahead on 40.89% in the Taiwan vote count. What is your view of which way the election results could go? Well, as most of the people has predicted, um, DPP will, uh, well, most likely to win the presidency this time. Although it's going to be a minority presidency, like uh, very similar to the result in the year of 2000, uh, when we see the three group of people came out and run uh, uh, for the election. And this time, uh, it is very similar because um, other than the ruling DPP or the Green Party versus the Blue Party or the KMT, there is a new party called TPP, Taiwan uh, People's Party. Uh, actually, they are um, they are uh, they are trying to pose themselves as the third power or the third path, uh, which attracts um, especially the young voters, the professionals, or those who uh, have been uh, um, you know growing to. Um, um, with, with their um, uh, tiredness of the previous old parties. So these are the new uh, generation of voters and the TPP actually becomes the third force that has divided uh, the votes that should have uh, gone to either the DPP or the KMT. Right. Now, many young voters have also said that independence from China isn't their biggest concern. Do you think the China factor is still overshadowing this vote? I think, well, China has been growing bigger and bigger in this, uh, in the background, of course. But, um, well, what the Taiwanese people have been concerned uh, about, especially the young generation of voters, other than China, they actually care more about their own welfare, about uh, their job pr pros uh, prospect for the future, about whether they can afford a house or a flat or apartment of their own for the future, about their economic success. So this also becomes a very important factor that determines um, uh, the result of the uh, election. Uh, of course, Taiwanese people still trusted uh, the current uh, ruling party DPP, for the past um, for for the past performance that they have delivered to the Taiwanese people, especially uh, Taiwan has been enjoying uh, the economic growth uh, mainly from the semiconductor or the ICT sector um, for the past few years. But um, at the same time, people are also seeing the division between the rich and the poor because um, um, a lot of um, professionals from the ICT sector they benefit from that. They can afford a house, but there are a, a, a majority of the young people actually they are uh, they have to um, bear the cost of the rising uh, living expenses and uh, uh, losing job perspectives. So they are actually looking for a new uh, groups of candidates 
which can deliver them the hope for the future. So under this background, actually, TPB actually has uh, gone, uh, has, uh, uh, got their share of votes. And uh, another thing to watch is that uh, actually the DPP is expected to lose um, their uh, majority in the legislative yuan or the unicameral uh, Taiwanese legislature. So this actually will pose a possible obstacle for the Taiwanese government to deliver their policy for the future, especially the policy towards China and uh, um, the foreign trade. Right. Professor, thank you very much for being with us and for your insights on the latest out of the Taiwan election. You're welcome.